Good morning, Sierra Roadrunners. I'm here to show you how to set up your Chromebook. When you first get it, you might notice that there might be students whose names are listed here on the right side. We need to make sure that your student is ready to access their Chromebook. Down at the bottom of the screen, you'll see a button that says Add Person. Go ahead and click that Add Person button. <clears throat> your Chromebook will then show you this screen where students will enter their login information. Remember that our login is our first name, last initial, and four digits. It already has the ending at stu.lancsd.org. We'll click next. If it gives you a red box, that means you may have mistyped your password. Double check your username and password to make sure that you have that correct. All right, once you have your correct username, you're going to click your next button. It's going to give you an option to enter your password. Remember, our TK, K, and first grade students, their password is their same four digits that you'll find at the end of their student um, user ID. Um, the upper grades will have a longer password that's a combination of two words and a number. Once we enter our password, we, hit, we click Next. Now our account is connecting. We're going to go ahead and click Get Started, and it should load us onto our ClassLink screen. Depending on your internet speed, it could take a moment. You might see this screen where it tells you that you are not connected, and that's okay. That just means that your Google account has not been there. If your Google Hangouts pops up, you can click the X in the top right corner to close it. If you're on a school um, Chromebook, you can hit the House button, the Home button, and you'll see our ClassLink sign-in page. If you have not yet connected your Google account, you can click Sign In with AD, the button on the top, and then it's going to ask you to enter some more information. Top box, you're going to enter your student's username. Bottom box is going to be password. Remember, first name, last initial, and four digits. Then we have to add the student suffix, which is at stu.lancsd.org. I can hit the tab button, go to my next box, enter my password, and now click sign in. <clears throat> Once I've signed in, it now should take me to my ClassLink page. There's one more step we need to do to make sure our accounts are connected so our ClassLink will work properly. In the top right corner, you're going to notice an icon. Um, it might have like a little person or it might have a picture. Either one, click the little drop arrow by it. You're going to see a box that pops up and you're going to click on My Profile. I click on My Profile and it takes me to a settings page. On the left side, there is sign in options. It's about the fourth one down. I'm going to click that. I can see that my Active Directory is connected. There's a green box. I can see Quick Card Access is connected. That's another green box. You won't need that at home. We use that at school. The third one down should say Google Account. Notice how here there's a gray box. It says Not Connected. When I come to this, I need to come over to the right and click the blue button that says Connect. I should get a screen that pops up that says success, your Google account is now connected. That will help enable all the features of a one-click sign-on for ClassLink. Now, I'm all done with that. You don't need to worry about the remote login. I'm going to close that, and then now I'm looking at my ClassLink page. When your ClassLink is set up and you make sure you've connected your Google account, everything should work as a single click to get to where you need to go. One more time, let me show you with iReady. It might pop up a box that says it's making magic happen. That just lets us know that it's entering our information. Now the one thing that might happen if you go on to iReady, iReady needs to know the name of your state. So make sure that you um, choose California if it doesn't automatically log choose you in. And then that takes you to your iReady account. All right, so this was how to start a, uh, add an account on your Chromebook and make sure you are connected on your class link.